have you been arrested today? Well, don't worry about it. Now there's M Hongo. M Hongo is a new, fun, and easy way for criminals to interact with law enforcement agents. Send your bribes instantly. Commit crimes on the go. Register now for M Hongo and avoid wasting time in boring jail. M Hongo is perfect for rape, murder, assault, sexual assault, robbery with violence, burglary, arson, hate speech, child molestation, fraud, theft, contempt of court, child labor, all traffic offenses, kidnapping, drug trafficking, suicide, and many, many more. M Hongo. Sababu Sharia New Jinga. Give a big shout out to DJ Titus, come on! <laughs> yes, thank you very much, asshole. Welcome back to Hip Hop City. This is Hip Hop City 15th edition. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm your host for today, James Rhymes. I'm your girl, Mariha. So welcome to Hip Hop City, and today we'll be having a lot happening in studio. Yes. First of all, famous rapper Anthrax. Yep. We'll be launching his hot new video, Bling Bling. That's what's up. Yeah, featuring a clean lyricist, Abdominal Pains. Abdominal Pains. With an O. With an O. Yeah. Yes, and of course, on the show, we're going to be having the official launch of the Illuminati dreadlocks that have been taking the music industry by storm. You don't want to miss that. Stay tuned. And uh, But before we do that, of course, we're going to go to the streets and meet our fashion cop, Maggie Shallows. What's up, Maggie? Yo, what's up? What's up? Marie and James in studio. It's me, your girl, Maggie Shallows, on the streets of Nairobi for yet another edition of Fashion Cop. You know how we do every single week, looking around on the streets for who's hot and who's not. <laughs> Now, I am actually on Mamangina Street, if you could just follow me, and we're actually looking for somebody who is uh, either dressed right or not. So, and I think I have spotted a casualty right ahead. Let's see how he do and what inspired this style. Hello, sir. Hi. Yes. How are you doing? Good. Maggie Shallow is here for Fashion Cop. Yeah, we're doing a fashion segment on Nairobi. So wondering what has inspired your fantastic style? Yes, I was going for the new homeless look mm -hmm. that has become a fashion in town. Okay. Because if you see around her, uh, you'll see everybody going for that look. Okay. Yes. My designer guy is a Gucci, ah. and I love it so much. If you see around, this is a Gucci. My, this is my bag. Mm. It's Gucci. You know, uh, uh, just to compliment the, 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 the new fell, you see? This is a Gucci. You know, this is the way we do it. This is the way we do it. This is the way we do it. Ooh. 
so bushy. That's, that smells nice. Yeah, that's actually, bushy. it actually smells very nice. Yeah, that's okay. bushy. Okay, so with this look of yours, are you able to fit in everywhere or do you have to change, you know, according to the environment? No, 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 no. With this look, eh, mm -hmm. I can fit casual, mm -hmm. official. It's a swag. Yes. What? I like it. I think you would too. So, that's it from me, Maggie Shallows, on the streets for Fashion Cop this week. Back to you, studio. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Dude, that's our microphone. Hiya, dude. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Jackson Monkey and until a few weeks ago, I was a normal guy like you, you know? Having no balls at all, I could do nothing, sitting around just looking stupid. But thanks to Monkey Balls, I now have the strength or rather the balls to make change in my community. Monkey Balls are made from the finest genuine Monkey Balls in the country. Having a few Monkey Balls each day will give you the balls to become a responsible oh, member of oh, your community. Oh, oh. Try monkey balls today and you shall see the difference. Monkey balls, because monkeys have more balls than you. Monkey balls are now available in the following shopping malls. Westgate, The Junction and Galeria. Good evening, I am William Obadiah and welcome to Gay News tonight. And in the headlines, Road Carnage, seven gay people uh, escaped gay death narrowly as a gay matatu um, rolls into a gay ditch. Gay protest by gay hawkers um, after being evicted from the gay central business district. We shall be having that news of course coming up. And of course in international news, Gay Israel um, is going to launch um, gay attacks into Gaza after several gay rocket attacks last night. We shall be having that one coming straight to you um, in this gay news tonight. And of course, um, in sports, Tyson Gay breaks the world record. Stay tuned for more gay news. Do not touch that dial. When you undergo any tragedy, it is important to share it with the world so that everyone becomes aware of how much pain there exists on earth, be it a suicide attempt that leaves you decapitated, a botched abortion makes you a skateboarder, or even a depressing divorce that turns you into a child smuggler. Come and share it with us and we will share it with the world and by sharing this pain and this guilt, it will break into tiny pieces and can no longer hold you down. Welcome to Discontinuity. Hello viewers and welcome to Discontinuity. I am Alexandria Juliet and with me in studio is a lovely young lady by the name Jacqueline Joyce. Now she will be giving us her sad story in a minute. Hello Jacqueline. Welcome to the show. Now for those of you who are seeing Jacqueline for the first time, she happens to be a student in the Polytechnic University campus of maternity studies based in Namanga. Now Jacqueline actually has some family drama going on and she wrote to us last week, am I correct? Yes, telling us more about what is affecting her. This is the letter that she sent in to our show. Hi.
Hi Miss Juliet, I am feeling very depressed. Now apart from having to cope with the stress of multiple boyfriends and still focus on my studies, I am experiencing a very hard time with a father who seems to get more and more and more irresponsible as he grows older. Now this she says is distracting her from school and she has to actually spend her time solving all the problems he is causing for her by spoiling her reputation. Take us away. Okay, well, Julie, uh, my dad my dad used to be a very good person. Mm -hmm. He used to be like a very good person. He used to take us out. Mm -hmm. He used to play with us. He was just like a normal dad. Sounds like it. But when I was in Form 1, mm -hmm. he started drinking. Oh, no. He started drinking. And as if that wasn't enough, he started taking cocaine, heroin. He started taking magic mushrooms. Do they sell those here? It got so bad that he used to take like a huge bottle and fill all sorts of drugs that he would get. Cocktail and just it. smash it up. Yes. And okay. And he would actually he would actually put his feet in it the whole night. He was so addicted to it that last year he overdosed on it and went into a coma. And Go the cost on. of the support machine, life support machine, was so high for him that mm -hmm. he, he got broke. To a point that he has to work in that hospital. He has to do that to cover up for the cost. And he has to do this every single day for 10 years. Okay, excuse me. Cut. Set people. Production floor, whatever thingy. Please, could you cut the tape? Please stop rolling. Stop, stop. Camera, we, I, are we... Okay, we are cut. Good. Now, darling, this show is about tears. Tragedy. Oh, I tragedy. don't see you crying. I don't pay you. No tears, no check. Put it in your brain. Who brought this girl? Who brought this? I'm Didn't you tell you. her about this show? Oh God, I need tears on this set. What will my audience say? They need to cry. You're not doing anything. What are you saying? What are, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What you Who brought her here? Who is, is, it, is it you? Is it you? You? Of course you're not going to say anything. Could we have the onion spray? It's not working. I don't feel good. No, no tears, no check. That's the end of this show. No tears. Okay, here we go. On your ah! There you go. No, that's more like it. Oh, one more, one more. No. It's a thing. Oh, that's better. Right there. Could we take it again? Hello, my name is Jackson Monkey and I'm looking for some very special specific people. Are you one of those guys who is afraid of speaking out when your rights are violated? Are you one of those guys who is afraid of stepping up to your responsibilities at home? And are you one of those guys who does not help the less fortunate in your community? We understand you and that is why we have created Monkey Balls. Did you know that the average monkey has 17 balls while the average human has no balls at all? So we extract a few balls from live monkeys and introduce them into people with no balls or even those with one or two tiny balls. Monkey balls, monkey balls, monkey balls. These monkey balls will help you take on your responsibilities which your tiny little balls will not. What are you waiting for? Get some monkey balls today and stop being a little monkey balls, monkey balls because monkeys have more balls than you in january 2008 the kenyan government was at pains to explain the presence of these two men in the country sargi panti and molotov panti also known as the panties 
Antis had entered Kenya posing as investors, but apart from being linked to a massive cocaine hole seized by the Kenyan police, they were also seen driving this car which has government license plates. And inside the car, they had these two One of them a hot radio presenter, the other not hot at all. After the scandal newspaper published these images, it was raided and its staff threatened and its premises destroyed by a group of unknown masked men. However, a hidden camera managed to capture the following images of the Panty brothers leading these armed men in the raid. They were completely mannerless, urinating, vomiting, shouting and picking their noses, behaving like typical Armenians. To do a proper investigative report, I had to be daring, especially when it came to choosing the music. I also knew that I needed a good montage. And with these two in a flash disk disguised as a lighter, as is the norm in investigative journalism, it was time to confront the panties. And the first step we took was a trip to Armenia, where it all started. I was shocked by the sight that met me in Armenia. The country was in ruins, the capital had gone to the docks, all because the whole country has a serious drug problem. I asked these young men if they knew about the Pretty family. <laughs> I then flew back to Nairobi using this random shot of a plane landing. We keep these shots in our library and use them in travel shows and documentaries of international spam. My first step when I arrived was to confront the officials in the immigration department to find out why they had denied the presence of the untouchable panties in the country. We caught up with the foreign affairs minister as he left the grand humongous hotel in Nairobi. Excuse me, Excuse me. minister, please, one, one, one moment. Please, can you tell us about the panties? I've said again and again, the government of Kenya has no panties, okay? These are just rumors you media people are spreading, okay? The government of Kenya has no panties. The immigration department has no panties. Our security forces have no panties. Basically, there are no panties in Kenya. Next week on Gay News Tonight's Undercover Report, we go undercover to uncover undercover reporters and why they are so annoying. Hold on, excuse me, I'm a reporter from Gay News tonight. Don't we work together, Priscilla? I know you're from Gay News. No, 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 hold what? on. Is what? it true that you're working as an undercover reporter exposing innocent criminals as they go about their business? What the? Is it true? What the fuck? Is it true? Michael! <laughs> Look at them, idiots. <laughs> Ah, Yes. M Hongo is the new, fun and interactive way for law enforcement agents to connect with criminals and manage their bribes. 
And now, with the new M Hongo mobile app, you can create your personal M Hongo profile and manage it from your smartphone. You can upload photos and express yourself using the new M Hongo mobile app. So, I have a status update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the um, we'll be patrolling Alingami area today. Wega Hongo Mkononi. Bas! Hongo, kwa sababu sheria ni ujinga. Are you tired of being ordinary? Are you tired of not getting noticed? Are you tired of not getting any attention? Introducing Illuminati. 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 Illuminati are dreadlocks that glow in the dark. When we came up with the concept of the Illuminati, what we're trying to create is a revolutionary hairstyle, something that will make the average and the otherwise boring person stand out. We first tried it on various international celebrities and it worked. So here you can see this is uh, Rihanna looking sexy with her Illuminati. And this is Jay-Z, he's rocking his Illuminati during a concert. Um, this is uh, Beyonce looking good in her Illuminati and uh, Kanye West. Kanye West is one of the best Illuminati experiments that we had. <laughs> and now, Illuminati comes in three great colors. Illuminati Celebrity, Illuminati Business, and Casual Illuminati. Illuminati has changed my life. Illuminati has really helped me as a student. Illuminati helped me a lot, especially when it comes to uh, masturbation. Illuminati! 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 Dreadlocks that glow in the dark. Try Illuminati today and stand out from the crowd. Illuminati! Umilito Williams. Nakale kade mpale. Umilito Williams. Nao magava. Mwongo Tosha. M Hongom is the new fun interactive way to send bribes to your favorite law enforcement agents and avoiding wasting time in jail for crimes that you commit. With three fun and easy steps, you can now register for M Hongo and start connecting with the law enforcement agents whenever you destroy someone's life. So I'm in a free agent. You go in the car and you say, Wakenya Wenzang. Now I miss a note. Mskose mhongo. Oh, <laughs> oh,